Say the uh, the acoustic guitar for lack of any other creativity. Uh, my first instrument was fiddle when I was about three. Really good. <laughs> that was pretty good. I could play twinkle twinkle little star and everything. I played guitar. Um, I did a mean version of uh, what's that? Um, Johnny Be Good. I didn't know how to play. Yeah. I just strummed a lot and sang. I played that too. <laughs> Louie Louie was my first song. 
piano was my first instrument. I started piano, I think, at about four, something around there. Right on, right on. And uh, actually, Nathan, you and I, we've known each other for a long time. You were in a band called Mountain Audio Experience. We were neighbors. We were neighbors. Not we were very, not three not houses more. away. And I actually went to one of his shows. It was Unicord playing, and I went to I was like, hey, you know, Chris is a... Uh, What's this molten audio experience about? And he was like, oh, dude, they're a hippie jam band. You would fucking love it. <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm going to go see those guys. And you're still unofficially and, our, the singer of the band. Right? Yeah, unofficially. <laughs> and I'm pointing, pointing up at you know, Nathaniel. I'm like, no, 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 you know, while they're playing live. And I'm like, and he's like, what? What, are you, what is this guy doing? You know, and I'm like, sing, where's the... Where's the lyrics? That could mean a number of things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, we've been good friends for a while, and he would come over to my little bashes, and I would get drunk and go over to his little bashes three houses up and walk around. And we had an awesome 4th of July party one time, and the tango comes up, and he's yeah. like, oh, Yeah, you guys just got through playing. We had that keg. Remember the keg? Uh, <laughs> you don't remember the keg? A lot of 4th of July parties, you know? Well, we had the keg that we took from work. And oh, yeah. The good. sun came up. Remember? The sun came up, and we were good. All right, I'll back to the broken spot. We're, we're, we're <laughs> random. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is a question for Tom. And your album. Right here, I have the album. If you folks want to pick it up. It's the broken spoke. Spoke. All right, there you go. And the title of it is Easy Riders. Before there were easy writers. Before they were easy writers. So tell them, uh, yeah. in your song, I'll See You Soon, who is Alabama Bobby and who the hell is Nikki? Yeah, uh, those are two guys, two real people that I met in Nashville, Tennessee a couple of years ago. Um, I wish I could say I was there doing the music thing, but I wasn't. I was just sort of driving through on a big road trip with my friend, um, and we were walking around looking for trouble to get into. To get into. And we see this homeless guy and you know they say like everybody in Nashville can play mean guitar and write songs and stuff and that's pretty much true in, in my experience uh, this guy he was rough looking but he, he knew how to play he did it well he had this horde of uh, his homeless compadres around him just kind of cheering him on he could play pretty much any Johnny Cash song that you right. could name that was his his thing but he uh, it sounded real nice. He was sort of lacking or too drunk to remember the lyrics or something. So he just substituted this or that cuss word whenever he forgot a word. It was really entertaining to watch. Um, so that was, uh, let's see, I get him confused now, I think. Uh, Nikki, his name was Nikki, and he had a friend who played the spoons sitting next to him the whole time. Alabama Bobby. Bobby. Yeah. yeah, big old beard. Crazy homeless dude, but cool to hang out with, you know. I wrote a song shortly thereafter about it. You can play the shit out of spoons there, folks. Let me tell you. <laughs> he opened up for Metallica and, you know, and Spoon. Iron Maiden and Sweet, Sweet Man. Sweet Sweet he wrote his tour. tour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, real quick, guys. Uh, worst gig ever. I don't think I was there for that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you were, you were there. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, uh, it's kind of funny. I think what could have been the worst gig ever turned into probably one of the best ones we've had um, when we played in Salida at the, the Victor Victoria yeah, Victorian. The potential was, was there for the worst gig ever. It's kind of a weird layout. You're kind of isolated, and people have to come over from the bar to see you if they choose to do so. And for about two sets, we were pretty much all by ourselves, um, just kind of having the ball and, you know, Oh, enjoying cool. Salida, but eventually just people started pouring in and everybody's drunk and dancing and we were kind of on fire for that last set, I think. The, the hardest thing to do was keep the, the drummer from uh, going to the beer fest across the street. Yeah. So that was the potential for And of course, you know, the best gig ever is whenever I'm there, in the town. Yeah. Alright, uh, we're going to cut this down and you guys are going to play a couple more songs.